Hello, Leo. I'm here to um, extend a general reading, a general reading for the sign of Leo. Anyone with Leo strongly in their chart could resonate with this message, although um, it may not fit for everyone. Um, so be, please be discerning as you listen to um, any general message that's brought forward to you um, from anyone who is outside of yourself. Uh, my dear, beautiful friends, welcome to my space. It is a joy to have you here just as you are in this very moment. I welcome you here. Let's see what message is coming forward for the sign of Leo. For the sign of Leo, please. What is the current energy around Leo? What is the current energy around Leo? What is the current energy around the sign of Leo, please? All right, let's look at what incoming energies um, that the sign of Leo will be stepping into in the next seven to 10 days. Please realize this is a very short amount of time. Um, so we could be looking at a very specific um, event that's happening in your life. Um, I might get caught up in these energies, um, but please know that I am referring to the next immediate um, energy that you will be stepping into the next seven to ten days, the next couple of weeks, the next three weeks or so, however it works for you, however fast you're moving, Leo, however fast you move. Next immediate, next immediate energies that Leo will be stepping into, next immediate energies that Leo will be stepping into, please. Next immediate energies that Leo will be stepping into. Next immediate energies. Next immediate energies. What's the guidance for Leo, please? Guidance for Leo. Guidance for Leo. Guidance for Leo. One more energy, please. One more. Guidance for Leo. Got some flippers here. Okay, Leo, the, the time is 3.30. Um, as a reminder for all of you that all of you that are here, um, this is a general reading. It will not resonate with everyone. Um, it could fit with anyone who has Leo strongly in their chart. Um, let's go ahead and begin now, Leo. Okay, Leo, let's get started. In your current energy, we have the Ten of Cups in reverse next to the Strength energy next to the Nine of Cups. So for me, this clearly um, does signify that you are on um, a journey here um, in attempting to fulfill some kind of wish that you um, are, are um, focusing in on, some kind of wish. And how we attain this energy and what I feel this group of you is doing is um, really digging deep into what brings you fulfillment. So there is some kind of realization here um, in what is happiness for you, what is joy for you. Uh, this is a change in the way many of you have thought about it because we have the strength energy. We have the strength energy here, which tells me that there is a requirement here for you to look deep within the self and um, really tackle the shadow within you here. Um, tackle that full frontal, tackle it. Um, because there is some sort of underlying insecurity or underlying um, 
need that your soul is asking for. And in order to accomplish that, Leo, there is a requirement here or a request or a need to look deep within that um, to address what that need is for yourself. Because the 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 what, what we have here as we have the Ten of Cups here, the Ten of Cups is here. Joy and fulfillment is here. You have an idea of what that is for you. You just haven't been able to attain it recently or ever in your life. Um, the, the effort and the time that you have put into relationships have um, seemed to you in this space that you're in now, whatever, whatever this situation is, this could be a short-term situation or this could be part of your life journey, however you want to resonate with this. But the time and the effort that you have taken um, to fill your own um, emotional cup in the past has not resulted in a way that is long lasting for you, that is long term, that is effective um, in the long haul. Um, there is short term bursts of happiness, but overall there is something here that you're still looking to attain. Um, whether this is spiritualism, whether this is love, um, 3D love between family or love between an intimate partner, whatever this is that you're looking for, um, I think that you have seen um, bursts of it. You have felt joy, but you have never found security within it. You have never found a sense of faithfulness or a sense of trust in it. Or there's some element here that is vital for the human heart that has been missing um, in some capacity, that's why the Ten of Cups is in reverse, I feel. Um, so there is a need here to dig deep within the self and to um, look at that lion within you that is roaring to be heard. Um, it's here, it's front and center, um, the need to really tackle, tackle, tackle the ego or tackle the fear center or tackle that beast within you that um, can burst out um, and cause destruction or it can burst out and cause complexity or it can cause insecurity or it can cause um, pain or agony or a deep sense of sorrow. Um, there's some kind of voice within you that is um, being heard at this time. And I know this is a very deep energy. Um, for some of you, this could just be a situation that you're in. Um, maybe it's a relationship that you've been in where you have felt short bursts of happiness, um, short bursts of joy, but in the long term, you have not found it. Um, maybe this is a long term journey that you're on um, to look at your life in a bigger way. Um, however, this reading resonates with you. You are in this energy um, at this at the time of this reading. Um, so if you're not in this energy, this reading could perhaps not fit for you this time. You are looking at self-awareness now. You are looking at self-love. You are focusing on it for yourself. And this does indeed bring success to the emotional um, the emotional realm within us. So you are on the right path. You are on the right path as you dig into these energies. You are soon going to start to feel um, a new kind of emotional fulfillment, wish fulfillment, fulfillment of happiness and joy. Um, I like the word fulfillment. It's being underlined in my mind several times. And then the last line that is underlined, it's like there, I'm, I have this um, word on my mind and it's fulfillment. Fill and full. And there's the lines are just stroking underneath the words. And the last line, the, the, the line closest to the bottom of the space in my mind is is curved in a in a powerful flare. Um, so there's some drama here, Leo, and it's beautiful. And you have such a beautiful soul. And um, I think um, in the next couple of weeks here, you're going to come to some realization or to some um, epiphany that is going to bring um, some correction to this um, emptiness that you've been feeling. And whatever this is, whether this is a um, relationship that you're working on, whether this is your own um, heart's emotional fulfillment in general, or a, a workplace situation, or a cause or a hobby that you've had, um, there is going to be some success in this, and it's going to result um, in the in in the efforts that you've been making to dig deep in, within yourself to to see what is within you that is roaring to be heard, that is roaring to be felt. Um, there is some kind of shadow 
um, element that is that is wanting to be seen and is wanting to feel the light is basically is how I'm how I'm reading this. Um, so you're working towards um, this wish, this goal, this deep desire that you have. And in the effort of doing that, you're digging deep within the self, digging deep, deep, far down to see what this is within you that is crying to be heard. Let's look at how the next incoming energy works for you. The next incoming energy. All right, we have the Ace of Swords in the upright. We have the Nine of Pentacles in the upright. We have the Magician. We have the Queen of Wands. We have the Queen of Cups. There's that self-love. We have the Chariot. We have the Two of Pentacles. And we have the Fool. Okay, give me a moment, please. Well, I see you having great victory here in the self-care um, arena with the Queen of Cups. She stands on her own now with her cup full and an awareness of um, the peace and the sanctuary that she finds around herself um, with the sword of truth pointing up to the divine, pointing up to the heavens, um, with the power of the eagles that soar around her and the divine column of the white light um, that is uh, sinking down into her crown chakra. So this tells me um, that there is, for many of you, a connection um, with the universe that is um, powerful and helpful and will help you find clarity, find self-love, and the love for humanity will help you connect in with the cosmos in a way that is most helpful for your soul and for your heart. Queen of Cups. So there is a victory here. Um, there is a, an epiphany or a realization or a decision made as you move into the next um, energy, as you move into the next future. We do have the chariot energy here uh, moving forward from the nine of pentacles energy. Uh, so this nine of pentacles energy is an energy of self-truth, self-empowerment, strength of self, self-reliance, self-responsibility, and self-accountability. It is truly one of the most powerful energies in tarot, I feel, is the Nine of Pentacles. It is having and feeling success in the three dimension. And my friends, we are in the three dimension. We do live with our feet on the ground, most of us, unless we're pilots, or unless we love to soar in the air in some way. We're in the water in some way, but most of us have our feet on the ground and we live in the 3D. And this is... Um, a person or a group of people who have learned how to find stability, to find personal strength, to live in individual um, freedom, and to have uh, a, a sense of, of personal choice. I do believe that many of you are looking for elements within the Nine of Pentacles, and I am not talking about being single or being attached to another person. Um, I am talking about the strength that we have within ourselves to make decisions, to, to be accountable for our actions, and to be intentional in our thoughts. That is the Nine of Pentacles that I am I'm connecting into. Now, when I connect into the Nine of Pentacles, I do sense some stress around this. So there is some lingering anxiety around the Nine of Pentacles, um, but I do see that you are moving forward quite strongly in your journey here with a chariot. So there is further success coming in this area as you move forward. So as you gain strength in your own individual freedom and in your own individual strength, I see you moving forward in a very powerful way into the future, into whatever it is that you're working on here. Um, because I do see that you're working to manifest something new with the magician and the two of pentacles over the top. Um, this is... Um, beginning to manifest in the 3D. So it looks to me like many of you have found clarity. Uh, many of you have found clarity on where you would like to move forward, in what direction you would like to move forward in. Um, you have found clarity in it. 
Um, I see that you have the passion for it. I see that you have the love that you need to manifest it in the most appropriate ways, the most in the most healthy ways for yourself. And now I see with the Two of Pentacles that you're starting to make changes and choices and decisions um, about money, about work, about the material items around you, about friendships around you, about how you step forward in the everyday life, in, in daily operations here, um, in order to put this manifestation into the 3D. So I do see, I, I do connect very quickly and very easily to the infinity sign above the magician. And that tells me that you have done quite a lot of work in the internal um, part of you. Um, and now there is um, movements that are going to begin taking place here in the 3D where you're going to be deciding something, moving forward in real life, working on implementing here some new project or some new employment or a new business idea or a new relationship um, or something new here um, that you're beginning to to actually move in the 3D, um, make choices, make changes, um, work this through in daily operations. So this could take you a little while to start putting this into practice here, Leo, um, with the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles is an energy of making decisions and, and passing through time. So the Two of Pentacles, I feel for the decision, um, the decision, the two cards, the decision cards, um, is an energy that can take just a little while longer um, than the other two choices, the two of wands or the two of swords um, or the, um, what's the other one? Two of cups. Um, the two of pentacles is is an energy of deciding, of, of juggling, of prioritizing your operations. Um, so I see you very active now um, in a real way in your life. So you're no longer... Um, in um, focusing, you are still focusing on all of the other areas, but um, you're, you're taking some of the focus off perhaps meditation or perhaps off of um, rest or, or whatever you're doing. Um, you're moving into a more action-oriented decision-making uh, process in the future in the next seven to ten days, in the next three or four weeks um, to start building this manifestation, start building this new experience in a real way in your real life. Uh, we do have you moving forward as the queen of wands now, um, starting something new. So you do have some new endeavor here that's showing up. It could be connected, um, could be connected to a Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. Um, but I think for many of you, this is you Leo. This is your natural energy that we see here with the queen of wands. Um, this is someone, whether you are a man or a woman, this is someone who's very internally passionate. So you are fully passionate within yourself. This tells me that um, you have found a pathway or you have found a project or you have found a way of living that fills you with fire, that fills you with power, that fills you with strength, um, that comes from the divine, that comes from the, your internal sense of, of, of empowerment, your own internal sense of who you are, Leo, um, very intuitive, very empowered, very beautiful, handsome, um, very attractive now um, as you step out in your own divine light and with your own flame burning very brightly um, around you. There is a new journey here with a Fool card, and we see you stepping out very bravely and very passionately um, in the next short upcoming period of time and, and doing something new, stepping out in a new way, um, being trusting in this because the fool energy doesn't have a lot, doesn't have a whole lot, may not have a whole lot of money, may not have a whole lot of people on his or her team, may not have a whole lot of resources, but the fool has passion. The fool has a dream. The fool has a desire for some kind of improvement in humanity or improvement in the world around him or her or an improvement of one's own journey. The fool has a, a powerful dream of new days ahead. And um, there is a fire and passion um, as you start this new project or this new career or this new job or this new business or this new relationship. So we see in the upcoming weeks that you are starting something new here. Um, after you start making a few changes, there are some changes, there are some decisions that I see here 
with this Two of Pentacles energy as you work to manifest whatever this new project is here for you. Okay, let's move on to the guidance. We're going to move on to the guidance now. And after I'm done, I'm going to take a short break, and then I will do an extended reading and dig deeper into some of these energies. Before I leave um, the general reading, I will let you know what energies um, I will dig deeper into in the extended reading. Okay, let's see what's here for guidance. All the cards are in the upright. Sorry, there's a glare here. And part of the problem is that the cards are bent. I use these cards quite a bit. I probably should just get a new deck, but I also like the energy that's in them. So please be patient. This is the Queen of Pentacles. All right, so we have the Six of Pentacles in the upright. We have the Page of Cups in the upright. We have the Two of Cups in the upright and the Queen of Pentacles in the upright. So the guidance here that's coming forward is a reminder um, that there will be um, equality ahead for you, um, a reminder to, um, to stay balanced in, in the real world, um, to not allow yourself to be, pulled, um, to be pulled spontaneously or pulled impulsively in one direction or another, or step onto someone else's bandwagon or uh, um, within someone else's dramatic moments or someone else's situation to stay um, very much in, in alignment with your own path, with your own goals and your own dreams. Um, there is an energy here of equality and balance, future financial stability. Also, um, the Six of Pentacles does talk about generosity, generosity of soul, generosity of spirit. Um, this is the last week of the last month, of the last year of the decade. And what what it, it tells me is that even though we might have our own problems, even though we might have our own um, dreams and our own goals, um, there is also an energy here of the whole of humanity um, stopping um, during this last month of the year with many different types of holidays, many different types of celebrations, um, people connecting in to what brings them um, solace, what brings them energy, what brings them guidance um, from all different ethnicities, all different cultures, from all different continents around earth. Um, there is a divine energy that's connected in with the Six of Pentacles to give as you can, my friends. Um, it doesn't always have to be money um, to make sure that you're stable in your own financial picture. If you are working on stability in your own finances, you can give in another way. My friends, you can give in the smile that you extend to others. You can give in the dignity that you afford mankind. Um, if there is a homeless person or if there is a person in poverty, if you can recognize that person somehow, to not avoid walking by that person, to give that person um, dignity. So the gift of dignity to fellow humankind is also a powerful gift that can um, overshadow any financial gift, beautiful friends. So there is a energy here of generosity, not only in money, um, but it is in um, goodwill and in love for each other as humans. Okay, that's the energy that's coming out of the Six of Pentacles. We have the Page of Cups here. Page of Cups is inspiration, new inspiration. Um, a, there could be a new introduction that's coming in, a new friend that comes into your life, um, rejuvenation in friendship, rejuvenation in love. Um, the Page of Cups is usually messages of love. Um, so make sure that as you're moving forward, if there is someone to reach out to, to give a message of love to, to extend uh, words of gratitude to, or extend words of, of welcome to, um, to please be sure to do that. But also, I do feel for some of you, there is a new introduction here or a new revitalization of a partnership that's coming in for you um, with the Two of Cups. So I'm doing this reading in a very important year of the decade. And so there is a very spiritual energy that I feel here. Um, but, but I do think for some of you, this is a new introduction that's coming in 
um, by someone who will be a partner for you in one way or another. It could be a business partner here because we do have the Queen of Pentacles here. Queen of Pentacles is a Virgo Taurus Capricorn type energy. Um, so there could be a new partner that shows up here for you, whether it's a love partner, this is a message of love, whether it is a partner to help inspire you, a friend to come help inspire you, bring love into your space, or you bringing love into a friend's space. Um, the Two of Cups is some kind of partnership, and when it is connected in um, with the Page of Cups, this could often be a lover, um, a romantic connection, a new beautiful friendship that begins here. Um, this could be um, celebrations and love between neighbors, between friends, between countries, um, between the continents of the world. Um, it could, this energy is the energy of love connected to inspiration and a new introduction. So you can take that energy and place it, um, as high and as powerful as, as it will fit. Um, but for some of you, this is, um, it is a new, beautiful and profound partnership that is connected in a very emotional way, in a very heart centered way. Um, there is, um, a future that is to be unraveled here. I am directed to the powerful moon. Um, that's showing in the Two of Cups. So there is a mystery here. There is a brand new future here or the unknown here is in this new introduction or in this new feeling of love. Um, and it is um, kind of, um, it's an energy of mystique, energy of curiosity and energy of excitement at the what the future will bring, Leo. We do have the Queen of Pentacles here and I do feel like um, there is an energy of daily operations um, doing what's needed to be done um, with the routine that you have set into place, making sure that you take time to look at the details, to look at finances, to look at what your daily schedules are. Um, the Queen of Pentacles is a very hard worker. Uh, she puts in her time. She put, she continues to be um, very quite tenacious in the way that she um, fulfills her obligations um, and I think this is an energy that you're going to be incorporating in the next month or so. But also for many of you, there could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, doesn't have to be that zodiac sign, but this person, if, if there's a new person here for you, this person encapsulates the hardworking nature of the earth signs and the ability to be very grounded, very compassionate, um, very uh, focused on um, building a foundation here, uh, building security in the 3D, financial security, security of family, security of home. Um, so there is someone here, if, if you are connecting in with a person who is quite grounded, uh, very hardworking, uh, very much a, a powerful partner. If you're, if you're looking at a partnership, um, there is a sign here and an indication that you will be introduced or have some reconnection to someone who will be a, a quite a valuable partner to you as you move forward. If there is no partner here for you, and that is not what you're looking for, um, there is an energy here of the Queen of Pentacles, which is hardworking, um, tenacious, compassionate, firm, um, focusing on bringing clarity and consideration and, um, and focus onto the daily details, to the small details of life, that help firm up a foundation um, of security and stability in, in the bigger picture of, of your world. Okay, Leo, um, in the extended reading, I'm going to take a short break. And in the extended reading, I am going to be looking at, of course, this Two of Cups and the Page of Cups here. I will look at what the Queen of Pentacles has to say. All right. I will look at this new journey that's here. I can't pull too many because it will take me too long, but um, I go quite deep into these energies sometimes, as those of you know um, that watch those. I am just pulled to this chariot here. So I think I'm going to dig, dig, dig deeper into that chariot. The current energies, I might look at what this wish is that you're looking for here. Um, and so those are the energies that I'm going to be digging into in the extended reading. And then I will look at the people who are around you and what their intentions are. So I'll look deeper, go down some rabbit holes here, try to uncover some more information for you. And then I'll look at the people who are around you and um, what their intentions are. 
All right, my friends, um, I hope this reading has helped you. I hope it's brought inspiration and encouragement to you. And um, for all of you that are um, here and with me in this reading and in this space, I wish you um, the most beautiful of weeks this last week of December, the most profound and connected week. Thank you, my beautiful friends. It's always a pleasure to read for you. Thank you.